Hello and welcome back to Joe Kev Chicks Kenya TV where we give you all the farming tips regarding poultry farming. My name is Monique Kyoko. Now today we're going to talk about something very important in our farms. But before I tell you what it is, please take a moment and subscribe. Have you subscribed? Make sure the button turns gray from red to gray, it's free. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about our channel and come, let's learn together. Now today we have Joe Kyoko in studio who will take us through it. Welcome Mr. Joe yet again to our studio. Mm -hmm. We are happy to have you back. So today we are talking about nutrition. Tell us about nutrition when it comes to poultry farming. So what do you feed your birds? All right, thank you for have, having me back. Uh, we feed uh, different uh, stenches. We have different feeds. Like we start with the chick mash, or if you want, you can start with the starter mash. Okay. From there we go to growers. Then after growers is when now they you come and uh, separate because there are cocks and you have uh, hens. So if you you want you have layers, you go to feeds called uh, layers mash, and uh, the cocks they will continue taking uh, growers. So that is basically what we give. Uh, that is the main <coughs> feeds that we give to our birds. But there are, <coughs> sorry, there are supplements, which we supplement. Like uh, during the day time, we get uh, greens, like fenches, vegetables, uh, cabbages, cows. Uh, we can also take some fruits like watermelon, those uh, remainings. We give, we have also like the birds which are laying. There is something, uh, if you want, you take the re leftovers of um, potatoes, that uh, cover. There's a way we use it to give to birds which are laying, to increase. All right. Mm. So here is a farmer. He has his birds ready. He's bought all these types of feeds that you've told us, the, the chick marsh and all the rest together even with the supplements, how much of it should they give or um, should, yeah, should they give their chicks or chicken? Yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> we, we, have, um, we have a feeding program that we have in our, in, at Joke of Chicks Kenya. There is a way that uh, we've studied the, kind, the different types of breeds that uh, we have. So we have that uh, chat. Every, every week, there are, they go increasing in grams. Okay. The first week, we give several, this uh, quantity. Next week, because of the young growing, they go increasing up to a certain uh, inch. When, where they don't increase, a maximum is 140 grams. So I will not uh, tell you every week, every week, but uh, the director will show, will, will, will uh, give the, that to the screen because we have it. And if you use that uh, chart, mm -hmm. it will uh, help your bath grow very fast because you are not, uh, you are giving the, the required quantity mm -hmm. to your feet, to your bath. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm giving the required quantity following the chart that we've been shown here, mm -hmm. um, how do I ensure that every quantity of feed that I'm giving my chick has quality, that the chicken or my birds are getting their every nutrition they need to get and in the right amounts? How do I ensure that? One, um, if you can, if you are not making your own feeds, you make sure that the company that you are buying your feeds from, it is a well-established company. You, do, you don't just go anywhere to buy your feeds because yeah. when you are preparing the feeds for your birds, there are those uh, procedures which are followed to get the qual 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 quality of, your, of the feeds. Yeah. So if you just go to those uh, shortcuts, 
those companies which don't uh, follow all those procedures, you will find that uh, you buy these feeds, and when you bring to your bird, instead of them growing, they die. Mm -hmm. Because uh, like um, birds, livestock, you don't, uh, most of people will take uh, mains, they will not say these mains as aflatoxin. Mm -hmm. They will just mail it and give to the bird. So when you go to somebody who is careless, there is a medicine which is put in that uh, feed called a toxic binder to bind that uh, toxin which is in the feed. And other, there are the proteins, nutrition that, to get that uh, good feed, there is that formula that we use. All the good companies which uh, make good uh, quality uh, feeds. Yeah. Um, you could tell us then where we could get uh, our feeds as farmers, um, starting from the the already made, already processed feeds, uh, the likes of chick mash and the rest, mm -hmm. and also um, in case I don't have money, enough money to buy, because chick uh, or rather chicken feeds could be quite expensive. So you could tell us how we could supplement it or how we could get feeds around the farm. Um, if you cannot afford to buy the commercial feeds yes. from those companies that I'm talking about, you try to make your own feeds because mm -hmm. if it is mains, you will not take the mains which has aflatoxin. You will uh, mail the good mains. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is not an easy thing eh, to make your own feeds. You will also need uh, to get uh, people like us who has the formula to direct you, you how you mix the, the, the quantity of maize, the quantity of fish meal, the quantity of uh, maize jam, sunflower, all those. Yeah. So you, can, you need to have that formula to make your own feeds. And uh, if you cannot do that, just uh, make sure you buy to a very good company, which you know. And this company should be licensed to produce feed for the, the, the poultry. Because if uh, they give you bad feed, you can go and claim. Tell them the feed that I bought here, after you take that uh, carcass of the bird, take it to lamp, and you are assured that this, this feed was, uh, I mean this, Mortality was caused by the the feeds. You know, you can uh, go and back to them and tell them. You know, you you, you the feeds that you sold me had a flux toxin in it. Had some. Uh, it was not quality. Mm. I had no qualities of the of the feeds that are supposed to be there. Mm. So if you cannot do if you cannot do that, just uh, come to us. We will help you how to prepare your own very cheap and also very quality one. Mm. If you can remember, there's a video that we, we, we uploaded. We have a, that machine eh, mm. which uh, grinds the mains cup. It also grinds the mains, or those grains. Mm. So like us, we use that one and we put other, other raw materials to yeah. make the quality of the quality of their feet. All right. Um, maybe you could take us through the storage or you could talk about storage of feeds. Is there any precaution I should take or once I buy, I could just keep it in the store? Uh, storage is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially, you know, you can just buy the feeds which are okay. But the way you store them, you make them bad. So number one, when you buy them, make sure you put them on a, a hood. Just make a, a hood and you place on top of it. Don't put it direct to the floor mm -hmm. because when you put it on the floor, floor is cold, it will uh, make the, bring that uh, wetness in the, in the feet. And there you get those aflatoxins that we are talking about. The other thing, uh, the store should be well ventilated. 
if you just close it, it there is, there is, an, is the feet are not getting the fresh air from outside. So don't just close completely. Just make sure the store is well ventilated. The other thing, the store should be dark. Don't, don't make it too bright. So that uh, if there are some uh, insects or things like rats coming in, they will uh, hit. Or if the store is next to your pottery cup, they will come and sometimes they will sneak in and they will just start wasting the, the feeds. So don't make it too bright unless there is something you are working. Uh, also, uh, the material that you use to, to, to build your, your store should be, like us, we use the me metallic sheet mm -hmm. to make sure when it is too hot, it is bringing the, the heat in the store. And uh, also, the roof should be very well, that there is no rain coming in or there is no rain water coming in there. The store because those, those the wetness is the main thing which has the which has the uh, bring the aflatoxin and uh, I talked about the the rats you you should make sure that it is it has not those openings whereby the rats can come in because rats carry its, uh, a certain disease called salmonella salmonella which when it uh, comes there and start eating and you mix it. The, the birds, I mean, the, it will give some droppings there and some uh, diseases. When you take it to the birds, they will start dying and you blame the, the feeds. Yeah. But it is not the feeds, it is that uh, uh, intruders coming inside. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now that you're talking about nutrition, mm -hmm. um, there's something that I want you to talk about uh, in regards to nutrition. Mm -hmm. Our viewers have seen this product. I'm sure this is not a new product to you guys, but in case you're new here, um, this is a product that we really love here at Joe Care Chicks. Uh, so I'll let our CEO tell us how and when to incorporate this in your nutrition. Okay. In fact, uh, no single farmer should uh, stay without this product yes because uh, it is called pottery microbes eh? the work of this product when you get that good fit mm -hmm. your birds are getting the good fit but uh, it helps in uh, that good fit to digest any bird which takes this it is mixed in water and that water mixed with the feet it will dissolve very fast. The work of it is a catalyst to make sure that that uh, feeds dissolve very fast and that is because they are high enzyme, enzymes, it will help that feed be uh, transported very easily and faster to the body system of the bird. So when you incorporate the good feeds with this product, the growth rate of your birds will be very high. And uh, Another good thing with this product, eh, since it helps to digest, so all the feeds are fully digested, meaning that uh, the waste which comes out from that bud it is very minimal, and for your information, it comes out very dry. So it will eliminate the ammonia in your farm. Many people who are in urban areas are complaining they cannot uh, have buds. If any of you want to put them because of the ammonia, the, the smell which is coming from the chicken coop. Yeah. With this product, it will not because all the proteins and the, everything in the feeds has been consumed by the body of the, the bird. So this one is, that's how we incorporate it. All right. There you have it, guys. Everything you need to know about poultry nutrition. We have talked about... Um, everything and all and included including the um, poultry microbes which are very important on our previous video a couple of farmers five farmers 
uh, won themselves a free one liter of poultry microbes and very soon we'll be having them on board and come to talk about it and tell us how it performed um, uh, when they use it. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, hope you've learned something. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe down below. It's free. It supports our channel. Remember to tell your friends to come and watch this video. Leave a comment down below telling us what you've learned, telling us um, something you'd like us to talk about, and we'll be glad to do that. I have been your host, Monique. Until next time, goodbye.